Alright, so in this video, we're going to be expressing a repeating decimal as a ratio of integers, okay? So, we, we are asked the question, what is 0 0.8 repeating as a ratio of integers, okay? The first step to this is writing 0 0.8 repeating out as an infinite geometric series, okay? If you start writing this out, okay, we, let's start out with just 0 0.8, okay? 0 0.8, let's express that as a fraction, okay? 0 0.8 as a fraction, well, that's just 8 over 10, right? Let's add another 8, okay? Well, now we're adding another term to this, okay? This is, this 8 right here, that's 8 over 10 squared, okay? Right, it's 0 0.08, okay? Well, what about another 8? Well, that's going to be 8 over 10 cubed, right? And so on and so forth. Okay, we add another 8. That's 8 over 10 to the 4th. Another one. That's 8 over 10 to the 5th. And so on. And that is our infinite geometric series. All right? So now let's put that into our a times r to the n minus 1 form. We get the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of, well, what's our first term? Well, that's just going to be 8 over 10, right? That's going to be our a, right? Our first term is our a. What's our common ratio here? How do we get from this term to this term and to this term? Well, we multiply by just 1 over 10. And we have to raise that to the n minus 1 because, remember, it's r to the n minus 1. Okay? So now we can just find the, the sum, okay? How do we find the sum? Well, we just use a over 1 minus r, okay? And remember, we can find the sum because this r is between negative 1 and 1, okay? We know that this infinite series is convergent. Now, a over 1 minus r, we can say, well, a is 8 over 10, and our r is 1 over 10, so that's 1 minus 1 over 10. We can rewrite this as 8 over 10 over 9 over 10, okay? And that just becomes 8 ninths, okay? So 0 0.8 is the, 0 0.8 repeating is the same thing as 8 over 9, all right? We expressed this repeating decimal as a ratio of integers, all right? All right, so we have our next problem up on the board here. We have what is 2.516, the 516 is repeating as a ratio of integers, okay? Now the first step is to just write this repeating decimal out as an infinite geometric series, okay? And 2.516 repeating, you'll notice that since the 2 is not repeating, it's not going to be in our infinite geometric series because it's not going on for infinity, okay? So this 2 is going to stand alone out here. Now, how do we get a 0.516 from... 516, right? Because we have to express this, this 0.516, as a fraction, okay? Now, if we just divide 516 by 10 cubed, okay, by 1,000, well, that's how we get 0.516, okay? So, we know this is repeating. Let's add another 516, okay? Well, now, how do we get this 516 over here? We have to add by... 516 over 10 to the sixth power, okay? That's how we convert 516 into this point zero 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 five one six. Okay, we have to divide it by 10 to the sixth. Okay, so this makes sense. And you can see the trend here, okay? This next term, when we add another 516, it's gonna be 516 over 10 to the ninth. We'll add another 516 and get 516 over 10 to the 12th, and that'll go on and on and on. Okay, so we can now write this in our summation notation. We have the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of our, what's our first term? Our first term is not going to be 2, okay? 2 is not part of this infinite geometric series, okay? 2 has to go on the outside, okay? Now, what's going to be that first term? Well, that's going to be 516 over 10 to the third. And that's going to be multiplied by our common ratio. And well, how do we get from this term to this term? We multiply by 1 over 10 cubed. 
and of course our r gets raised to the n minus 1 power okay so well this 1 over 10 cubed that's between negative 1 and 1 we know that this infinite series converges so we can find the sum okay and how do we find the sum well we're going to have to use a over 1 minus r as we did in the last problem okay what's our a that's 516 over a thousand and what is our 1 minus r well it's going to be 1 minus 1 over 10 cubed okay and we can rewrite that simplify it down a little bit as 516 over a thousand over 999 over a thousand all right so these thousands are going to go away we're going to be left with 516 over 999 okay that is the sum of our infinite series i probably shouldn't circle it because it's not our answer okay what's left to do is we still have to add through that two okay so we have to do two plus 516 over 999 okay and i'll just save you that all that crazy math that's <laughs> just going to be a mess we end up with 838 over 333 so i think the one thing that i really hate about these ratio of integer problems is that this math can get pretty tedious and you're not allowed to use your calculator uh, on a well most of you aren't allowed to use your calculator for for calc 2 uh, on, on tests and quizzes and all that stuff so you know it's an extra little tedious thing that you have to do but anyways that's going to do it for this video so if this video helped you make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left you can also view the playlist for sequences and series the explanation video for ratio of integers and the next video in the series Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.